Hello! How are you all doing? It's unboxing time. Uh, in fact, um, if you saw the big thumbnail, I don't know if I'm going to go with the big box thumbnail or the smaller boxes thumbnails. But um, short version, I have the uh, Jazza Ultimate Creativity Crate Box thing. Uh, excuse me, I turn my TV off because the screen's over distracting me. Um, and I'm going to be doing each box as its own individual unboxing video starting going in the order that they're in the, the, the slip case with the Jazza's incredibly inky box <sighs> but before that hi how are you you well you're doing good um playing with the lighting at the moment because I've got natural sunlight here I've got uh, the orange light there and I've got the um little selfie light here so lighting might change throughout these videos also, I am going to record them one after the other, after the other even though um, I'm going to release them separately probably. I'm going to do them one, two, three over the next couple of days or one, two, three over the next couple of weeks. I mean, I could schedule them to go out weekly, but I don't know, I might just have them going out. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. You'll know when, when they're up. When they're up, then you'll see them. So I'm uh, after this video, I might see you tomorrow or I might see you next week. But anyway, I'm definitely in waffle mode. So you are going to see this same, but it's pajamas. So I would have been wearing it, you know, different days anyway. I I wear pajamas more than once a week. Uh, I think a couple of days in a row is normal, even though it's super duper hot. Um, <clears throat> it's better than like nothing because then I could get well, I'm not be monetized by YouTube anyway. Um, which sorry, excuse me, I like to be all pretty for you. Um, so yes. Uh, if you want to see me hit monetization, feel free to hit the buttons down below and say hi and, and comment and all that good stuff because it helps, apparently, you know. I'm a long, long way off of actually getting any monetization, but as long as I can keep myself over. I've got out over 100 people. It'd be nice to stop pushing up to 150, 200, but anyway, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to do my normal thing of um, opening up the box and showing you everything that's in there. Obviously these are art supplies, so depending on what type they are, and I've got an idea of what some of them are, I may pause this video, do some swatching, and then come back and show you the swatching. But again, that depends. Um, I think they need the first one that has the potential for swatchables, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this. I ordered this back in like January, like almost last minute. Um, I use my voice of money. Um, if I, if I haven't told you before, I, I voice a cat on YouTube. I will post a link to the storyline video down below so you can check that out. Um, but yeah, otherwise <clears throat> I'm going to have a sip of water and then we're going to do this thing. Wow. <coughs> My throat. This is going to... I think between videos I'm going to end up getting, getting a hot drink or something because uh, this is going to wait. But I'm recording now so I'm committed. But first up, we have a Z Inky box. It is nice and heavy. I have been trying to avoid spoilers. There's a little bit of uh, where the tapes come up. You can see uh, Jazz's Javatar underneath here, looking very cute and funny. Um, but yeah, so it's slightly peeled, but that might be where it's sort of moved around the box because it has come all the way from California. So yeah, I've got a box sent from California. Um, Created by an Australian, sent to England. So there you go, truly international. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, this is in association with Smart Art. There's their details, and um, they have a loyalty thing. So I'm not subscribed to them because some of the prices look a bit thin. Because it, it's not so much the price of the box itself; it's then also the um, import, like the, the the shipping fee, which kind of pushes it up to a point. Where I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure. But they, if you you become a member to sign up to their website, which obviously I had to do to, to get this, um, then you are on the you come on the loyalty scheme. And like the more you spend the more points you get. I have enough points just from having bought this box, these boxes, to um get a whole free box for myself if I want to. Haven't cashed it in yet. I haven't found a box I want, but you know, if you sign up, uh, even if you only get like one off purchases, it all adds up on eventually you get a freebie. Uh as I've said, I'm trying to avoid I've been trying to avoid spoilers. 
So Inky Box, I know there's like a cool rainbow glittery one in here because Jazza did a video on that. And I think, and I really hope because it's the one thing I really, really want, they got one of those glass dip pens that Jazza's has highlighted a couple of times. And also Jazza, if you're watching, hello. Um, so yeah, other than that, I can't remember what's in here because I'm actively trying to avoid spoilers. So it's it's heavy, which if there's glass and possibly some paper in here, that would make sense. Um, but yeah, let's just let's waffle more more looky. Okay, um, first off, nicely bubble wrapped. I appreciate that. A little bit of bubble wrap on the top here, and then we have the tissue paper. Um, I'm thinking this is kind of the spoiler sheet, so I'm going to pop this to one side and then look at it in a little while. Uh, first thing I'm seeing, I'm going to need to put this down because it is actually heavy. First thing I'm seeing and pulling out, oops, I moved you. It is, there is paper. We've got, it looks like another type of paper in here as well. So this is the Cappuccino book, 80 sheets, 121 um, GM. Let me just gently, oh, it looks like it is actually. So hardback, it was very nice. Uh, stuff on the back. Cappuccinos, no, it's right in English. A cappuccino covers sketch paper with non-absorbing surface for Indian ink, fountain pens, and acrylic markers. Very nice. Um, it's also written in, I think, French, German, and it doesn't look like Spanish. But anyway, so, oh, we've got a little, uh, can you see that the, the company logo on there? It's quite cute, a little cockle thing. Uh, yeah, um, but it's very smooth. But yeah, it's uh, it is it's off white paper. And I've been actually meaning to look into getting some off white paper for various different things. Uh, oh, okay, it's it's um, the same thing in a couple of more languages inside. So yeah, um, most of the text is just the same thing in different languages. So that's really nice. Love that new book smell. I uh, need to find somewhere to pile things. So that's we have an art. We have a off-white art book. Um, this looks like it's an on-white. Oh no! Okay, it is a book, but it's a uh, square paper and very smooth, kind of like your like your math book, like your normal exercise books. That's by Fabrano. Fabrino. Um, doesn't say much about it. I think it's about at least 100 and 150 pages. A570. I can't count. Hang on. That says 80. That says 80 pages. And this says 70 pages. Anyway, so we've got uh, anything in here in English? Um, no, it, it's a pad of square paper. Now, having looked at calligraphy um, way back when, um, yeah, I could see that being good for doing exercises and such. So, cool. Uh, speaking of calligraphy, we have Elegant Writer Speedball, uh, 3 millimeter, 2.5, 2 millimeter, and... I'm guessing a fine liner. Um, let's pop these open. I don't. I'm gonna be pe taking them all out anyway, so I'll probably find a pencil case or somewhere to put all this stuff nicely. So, uh, three millimeter B bold black. There we go. That's that's nice. Uh, two point five medium. Yeah, it must be bold, medium. Hopefully there's more information on the box that I've just like... Oh, okay, there's a little information card in here. And... Okay, cool. So it's um, it's got some like basic exercises. Like, there's some stuff. So, what does this one say? Two point fine. So we can see that. So I think you got the width and then the um, 
you know how, how tapered it is and then oh, okay so there's two of these two of the two point fine so cool we have pens what does it say about them here made with crisp chisel nerves to con and containing a free-flowing Acid-free ink, speedball, elegant writer markers are the ideal tool for creating beautiful calligraphy projects. To use elegant writer markers, keep the pen nib perpendicular to the upper left corner of the page, 45 degrees, from form thick and, and thin strokes. See illustration. Also available in dual tip nibs, um, scroll chisel marker set for even, even more creative possibilities. So there you go, that's the speedball pens. Two of one and one each of the other. Uh, put you there and bin. right we also have some more paper I'm gonna I'm not gonna take this one out because uh, it's just a few sheets of Durabrite but what's it tell me about it non-staining reusable um, heat tolerant heavyweight non-absorbent waterproof um that's interesting so I guess it's um I'm not sure how it works as being... Okay, I'm going to open it up just to see if there's more information on the card. Ooh, that's pretty. Sorry, I'm just looking at some stuff in there and already the box itself. That's soft, that's smooth. It is super pretty. Okay, there is more information on the back. Uh, heavyweight opaque pro polypropene film, durable mixed media surface, watercolour, alcoholic inks and sprays. Build up layer... Um, Build up layers um, by heat setting in between each colour. Stitch together without tearing by using a sewing machine to create unique functional pieces. Use distress oxidized ink sponge. Um... Okay, so I guess it's like you pour your inks on and then you can do various things to it and then you can get some interesting effects. I hope there's like more information than cheat sheets to help me learn how to use some of this stuff. That's interesting. That could be pretty. Also, the bag's slightly ripped, so I'll have to fix that later. More paper. Uh, I'll leave that for a second. Uh, this is Pearl X and Gum Arabic metallic uh, calligraphy set. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve boxes on here. So I guess it's twelve different colours or like. Um, Eight, eight, nine colours plus the Arabic stuff. So let me see if I can pull this out without. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we've got. I think, yeah, that's the powder. Oh, okay, I think this is the stuff that you have to dilute before using. I'm definitely going to have to read up on this to find out how to to use it properly. But I think if you use it in sort of small enough doses, it can last you a while. Um, so you can see there some very... Oh, here we go, getting into the, the colours. So, I know I've, I've mispronounced the words and I, I apologise. Uh, okay, oh, that one's nice. Dem okay, so I may have to go back on what I said about swatching it out because... Whilst I do want to show you what these look like, all swatched out and pretty, um, it looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit of homework first, so um, I'm not wasting resources just swatching out. So I've got to learn how to use them before. So I hope you can forgive me. Oh, that one's pretty. That one looks nice. It's like a nice reddish. Uh, okay. Oh, nice gold. And three warps. Oh, that's pretty. See that nice blue and another goldy bronzy more yellow in that one and oh that's nice kind of a copper copper color going on cool so they've all got like different numbers on the front and uh okay so yeah to make metallic calligraphy ink using pearl x pigments pro um gum and yeah and powdered gum arabic Mix four parts, stir uh, well. Yeah, so it's got the recipe and instructions on the front there as well. So that's cool. <clears throat> but again, going to need to read up properly and make sure I'm doing it right. So swatching will have to wait for another day. But I will. I'll, I'll swatch them all out. And um, I'll probably put them on my, on my Twitter. 
Uh, at Phoenix 11, same spelling as the channel you're on. Um, there's a link tree down the bottom as well, which I never really sort of point to, but it is there. I do have one. So, yeah, that is <coughs> those. Pop those there. And we have in here some different types of, I'm assuming some kind of dipping ink or... Um, there we go. Pouring ink. So this is... Oh, Marabou. I've heard of those. I've got some of their other stuff. Um, alcohol ink. So it's it's a liquid. This one actually is a liquid and it's... Um, I'm assuming this is going to be like a nozzle tip. Yeah. And then I guess you sort of pour out what you need. Dip. And then like, so you're not going to be too wasteful there. So we've got a nice sort of teal blue, greeny blue thing going on. Uh, it looks brown, but I'm guessing it'll go on lighter than that. Oh, there's blue in there as well. Does it say what colour it is? Uh, tangerine. There you go. So, okay, this is aqua green. Tangerine, aqua green. Uh, oh, amethyst, one of my favourite colours. And... Um, gems. <laughs> okay, the way they're looking in the um, pot, at least the way they're coming up on camera, um, isn't going to be nearly what the, near where the colours are. And we've got tangerine, aqua, and the clear one. Rainbow. Oh, rainbow. I think this is the one that Jazza showed off on the um, on his channel and made everything glittery. Uh, so this one I'm looking forward to using. <clears throat> so that's them. So for, um, what I'm going to be doing in the meantime is everything will go back into its box and I will learn how to use them all and then like start off with small projects and hopefully have a nice big portfolio of things. Um, we also have a couple of paintbrushes. Uh, Royal... Is it Royal Lancaster? Uh, Royal Lancaster. It's very skinny. But yeah, you've got like a. Well, them. <laughs> I know there's proper names for it, but uh, I mean, if, if you can read that, then, uh, you know, help yourself. But they look very nice. They do look very nice. I think they are covered in plastic, so they get nice. I think, oh no, they're, they're there. You see, you've got a nice point on them. Which will probably be ruined after the first time I use it. Because <laughs> I can be a little heavy handed. Um, but yeah, paintbrushes. Probably not the only paintbrushes I've got in this set. We also have some more uh, liquid inks. We've got our primary colours here. Um, I'm not going to pop them open if I can help it. Because the other one ripped. So yeah, it's Marabu again. Um, so yeah, we've got a red, blue, yellow. Uh, in a nice heavy quite a lot there I mean that's good I mean you know compared to a lip balm it's not bad not bad but not bad size at all uh, and I think this is the last thing yep uh, this is the last thing this is the thing that made me go ooh because the way it's presented uh, Jazz's Deluxe Writing Collection okay and okay so we've got a flap i'm loving the presentation trust an artist to <laughs> trust an artist to put his face on everything uh i was gonna say trust an artist to know how to present things in a pleasant way oh it is what i thought it was it is and it isn't oh this is beautiful so let's start with the inkwell stand how pretty is that? So yeah, tie up link well. Um, the reason it isn't isn't what I thought. It is what I thought, but it isn't because we also have the feather pen ink. So it comes with its own little pot of ink as well. Okay, so that's that. Very pretty. I'm assuming it's just black. Oh, 
it's got a, um, a stopper in it that's I like that so if you unscrew it and got fingers like I have all right I'm not gonna play with that anymore but I'm assuming it's black that is very nice so okay so what I thought it was um was specifically the spiral pen that he'd um demonstrated and that was like a nice rainbow one this isn't a rainbow pen but it is a glass dip pen oh go away uh one second sorry about that um amazon forgot they were due um yes yeah, so it is very securely put oh, okay okay i see it i see it now it is a very pretty glass dip pen um now the reason it is and isn't what i expected is because it is an amazing i'm assuming hand blown or hand individually done glass dip pen but what i thought or i got confused with again i try to avoid spoilers is i thought it was the one that he demonstrated that was the spiral one so the whole thing is the pen but it's not but in some ways it's better let me very carefully put that down because excuse me it this is an actual set that comes with look at those nibs look how beautiful those nibs are let me take one out i mean like i said i did get a um calligraphy like part work years ago so I know some of the basics, but um, I never quite got fully into it. Is there a reservoir cap? Or is it just going to dip it in? But yeah, so you've got your nib there and then you've got your thing and it seems like you're angled. I guess that's... I'm going to... Probably for safety, I'll probably hold it on the metal part and then... I'm gonna to have to learn what each of these nibs do and all for um but how pretty is that how 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 pretty i'm gonna like this is gonna inspire me to actually like learn how to do the calligraphy properly and sort of probably do it um part of the reason i sort of didn't get into it in in the ultimately like even though i've got like an entire set of other inks and you know pens and such it's kind of like the time and space ratio so i had the you know didn't always have the time but also like they recommend having a proper easel and like doing it at an angle which at the time i didn't have i think i do now so i'll have to dig that out and practice there but also it's like you know having the time having the space but this i think will inspire me to sort of dig out my old books and get it back into it um because i do i did keep all the because we had to get rid of loads of stuff when we had to get rid of the garage um but i made sure so some of the projects like hey here's how to make this wrapping paper or here's how to make a nice card i got rid of those because i just didn't have the room to keep them but i did keep all the chapters with the lessons in them so yeah i, I should be still be able to teach myself or hashtag not sponsored but i could look at skillshare um or other online learning so yeah i'm gonna pop this back safely into the thing and um put the little bow back into it because that was really cute so yeah that's that's that and then i'll just secure this away we'll have another quick look at it in the box and then we will look at the cheat sheet together if i can just do the bow sort of it's awkward angles because i put everything back into the box to keep it safe there you go <laughs> so um yeah there is that writing set and again another look at those nibs which looks amazing that looks like that one looks like a sword or something that's, that's so cool so yeah all right um that's so pretty let's have a look at the cheat sheet i'm, I'm reasonably confident there's nothing missing um so yeah oh ah muppet <clears throat> all right i'll sort that in a second cheat sheet where are you so there we go and i'm assuming that's that's the same the same design so i can look at it without having to flip my box upside down all right so there we go 
And there we go. This is gorgeous. I don't know why I didn't get the um, Jazz's Jazzy art box when it originally came out. I think because I didn't have the money at the time. I said this was like extra money. All right, so a uh, little booklet contains some helpful hints and tricks to help you make the most of the contents of the incredible inky box. There's even more examples and tricks. Um, I wanted to shit. I wanted to include that wouldn't fit inside. So on top of the booklet of this booklet, I'll be making a whole bunch of contents using the items in this box. I made a welcome page where you'll be able to watch them at your convenience. Jazzastudios.com slash jazzaboxes. I don't know if there's a code, but you know, if you've bought the box, you get to have the code. So yeah, chisel pens, brushes, great for both calligraphy and painting using brushes like this can be great for Japanese style calligraphy. Also great for like ink. Uh, they like dip pens. Uh, dip pens require practice. Yep. Uh, water-based ink. Okay, so the glass ones are water-based inks. The tubey ones are alcoholic inks. And the Pearlex calligraphy powder is obviously the little plastic tiles we were looking at. And then we've got the three types of paper. Um, so yeah. Okay, so now we've got exercises and things to do. Um, this is with the chisel tip strokes, fine tip strokes. Um, yeah, playing with fonts. Um, using the powders. So there's a page here on how to use the powders. Um, and then how to use the water-based inks, some ideas. Um, the alcohol inks, and that's with the paper as well. And then, oh, I remember this video. <coughs> um, off you go to the wonderful world of calligraphy and ink. It might be get messy, but it'll certainly be satisfying. Be patient, tr uh, trust yourself, and most of all, enjoy small victories and lessons as and lessons you learn. And over time, your art will improve in ways that will surprise you. Good luck and have fun. Love, Jazza. Written in a very calligraphy, very pretty way. And then, yeah, got the art on the back. So, yes, that is the um, Jazz's Incredible Inky Box and the dip pen. So, the dip pen isn't the twisty rainbow one that I thought it was, but that's on me. That's on me, um, like avoiding spoilers and all that. However, this set is gorgeous, and I'm more than happy with this. I'm more than happy with what it's got. It's it's my fault I thought it was something else, but that's what you get for trying to avoid spoilers. Um, so yeah, this is good. I'm, I'm so happy with this, and we've still got two more boxes to go through. So if you'll indulge me, I'll put, I'll put everything away for now. And that tucks in there. I have to say, whoever packed my box... Uh, thank you, this is, this is very well done. This is very nicely presented. Um, so yes. Good, good pens to get this tip in here, the brushes, and the papers. Um, not bad, I think individually these boxes were like $100 each, and then the, the, the bigger one that you'll see in a bit was like maybe uh, 200 um, US dollars. <coughs> so getting it, if you didn't see the thing, if you've not watched Jazz and stuff before, obviously I'll put a link to his channel down below. Um, but yeah, uh, getting the whole collection, you are making a saving. And how long are we in Wonky? Um, so yeah. Oh, I'll put a link to Jazz's channel down below. I'll put a link to my link tree. I'll put a link to um, the videos that I'm in where I'm playing a talking cat. And then as I release them, I'll be putting the links to the other unboxing videos. Um, so we've got the whole collection. Uh, but yeah, there was... If you bought the whole thing as the collective you did get a discount and as i said when you do that obviously you can't get these anymore because there are extremely limited edition um like literally you cannot you physically cannot buy them anymore they're not selling them anymore um but yeah it, i'm so far i'm happy with my spent um it was my voice money so i can i you know, i can justify it. It, it was my money it was my bonus money my mad money um but so far i'm really happy um, I am um, going to see what's, I know, like I said, I know roughly what's in the other boxes. Uh, I'm going to go through those in a little bit, get some tea first, get my support sorted out. Um, 
but yeah so far so good and uh, this should keep me going for a long long time so yeah uh, I shall sign off for now again Jazza if you're watching hi thank you I hope you enjoy my rambling and uh, yeah um, I'm gonna go get a cup of tea and do the next one bye